Hello friend, in this video I am going to discuss about how to combine multiple tables in Power BI or how we can combine more than two tables using Power BI. So add here or oh, this is uh, Power BI desktop and uh, if you click or uh, transform data then a uh, new page open Power Query Editor. So uh, at this place, this is the home tab and uh, here you can see this all those things. So in this lecture, I'm going to uh, combine this all. So four files are there, two tables are there. So two tables that come from SQL Server, EMP table, this is the record. So this is the EMP and DPT. So this is the record inside dpt. Here you can see dpt record. Now here after for combining more than or uh, two three tables. So first uh, here you need to select the tables and after that you need to go up and queries. You can select open queries, open queries as a new. So as a new, I'm going to uh, click. Now here, so since I selected this one, so here this is the primary table. So concatenate rows from two tables into single tables. By using open, we can concatenate rows from two tables into single table. So let's see about two tables first. So EMP that I selected now here going to select DPT now click on OK so here this is the record so this is the record upper record that is for EMP and here if you scroll down here this is the DPT record you can see the DPT record here So this is the simplest way we can uh, combine two tables and here you can see one more query that created. Now here after I am going to combine three tables or three files. So let's select uh, file 1. So file 1 has this record 1020 and uh, 3040 file 2 and uh, file 3 60, 80, 90 file for 90 now here after select file 1 and here append queries append queries as new and here select to 3 so when you uh, check this uh, radio button 3 or more tables so file 1 that I selected now let's uh, add file 2 file 3 and file 4 now click on ok so here you can see this is the file 1 so file 1 has 1020 file 2 3040 and uh, here it's all are combined so when number of columns are similar so that not create uh, others columns so inside to uh, here uh, this one so EMP has uh, different columns and uh, DPT has uh, different columns so that here it's uh, separate created or uh, separate uh, created here or uh, this all but add here common columns DPT number so that it's not a uh, separate created so this is the DPT number for EMP and this is the DPT number for DPT table so when on uh, same columns are there so that not create uh, separate so right here this is the file 1 file 2 file 3 so it's come from or uh, this is the csv file here if i click on text csv so here this all are csv file here or uh, file 1 file 2 and uh, next to uh, emp dpt this the or uh, table so with the help of append queries we can combine table with uh, files. 
so uh, let's uh, select file one here append queries as new now three so file one selected file two going to add file three add file four add and uh, next to uh, here going to add to all uh, this so uh, dpt because uh, here dpt or uh, table has the same or uh, three or uh, columns are only and file one file two has the same sorry three columns click uh, dpt now okay and here you can see this is the record so first is 1020 that come from file 1 3040 and here 1020 3040 it's come from tables okay so when the file or table has the same structure then that not to uh, create uh, any other columns so this is the way we can combine more than three files tables using power bi so i hope guys this video helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you